Hi, this is Generalizer. I'm back again. Well, this time I'm back with a uh, new and improved uh, bubbler configuration. Uh, what I'm going to show you is I have actually redone uh, the uh, multi-chambered bubbler. It is still multi-chambered. It is still, uh, the concept is still the same. Uh, but what I have been able to do is I have greatly reduced the number of steps. I've also made it much more simple uh, to assemble. It now uses uh, off-the-shelf parts from um, Home Depot and or um, Lowell's. Uh, you don't have to worry about finding the right pieces. Uh, so therefore, this should be a lot easier and simpler to build. Also gone is the O-rings and also gone are the compression rings. Um, this uh, keeps you from having to buy a fly cutter. So this uh, construction, even though it does maintain all of the functionality, I believe uh, you'll agree that it's a much simpler application or a uh, much simpler uh, unit and can be built very easily. Okay, the standard PVC. Uh, you see I've actually already drilled my holes uh, for the um, water level check and also the, the holes for the um, gas inlet and a gas outlet. This obviously is the same piece. It's um, you, you can build this thing any size you wish. Uh, this actually is a little bit shorter only because it, I, I used up uh, uh, some pieces I had and so it made this a little bit shorter but it does not distract from the uh, overall uh, functionality. The next piece is a piece that uh, helps to uh, add to the versatility. I now have a 4 inch to 3 inch adapter but also what happens is is a 3 inch to 2 inch what I also did though was find a plug a half uh, actually a 2 inch plug and a 2 inch plug looks like this alright see it's solid in the middle however the reason I chose this was because the half inch or one and a half inch uh, PVC or one and a half inch ABS sorry will fit in exactly it's tight you can actually glue it and and so forth so what this allowed me to do was I took this piece and actually cut it right along right along here so that I cut the entire backside out so that it creates you know a hole but also allows me to take a fill in um, the reason for doing this is because I could not find a four inch to one and a half inch if I could have found that then that's that would have been ideal this gives me the ability now to put in the one and a half inch ABS and actually to be able to slide it all the way through which is what I need to do okay and right now of course this is all dry fit and um, my next video I'll show you the unit put uh, all the way together okay now for this piece, all right, this is now the top that will go into here. Uh, again, this is my gas outlet. Uh, I have uh, stuffed stainless steel wool in here. This unit, or this piece right here, is designed so that it will fit all the way down flush into this adapter. Okay. Like so. And then you can see how it fits. And then the next piece I'll put on is a mail collar. All right. And again, this is all being dry fitted. This mail collar fits down in and on. So now what I have is a solid unit. Uh, when I glue this and seal this, it will uh, remain airtight. The uh, gas will actually come up through the stainless steel and out the top. I have a little plate, a little cap with the holes drilled in it. And actually, um, sorry about that. And actually, I'm sorry, this piece will go on top first, like so. and will be glued, glued in there and then of course this piece goes on top of that giving that configuration okay 
since I now have the male collar here, this allows me to add the other pieces, which is the secondary bubbler, along with the chamber for the dry or for the, the stone, for the air stone. What you'll see is what I've done now is I've taken the, the stone, I have drilled a hole all the way through the stone, and added a screw. The reason for doing that is simply to be able to uh, put it in and pull it back out again uh, very simply and easily. To seal the edges around these stones so that if any gas should have any HHO should happen to escape and get beside it, uh, that it does not ignite as uh, part of the uh, in, uh, enhanced flashback, I put it around the edges and down the side and then force it into my chamber, causing a very snug, very tight seal, and along with some additional bronze wool. Okay, this unit. Okay, this unit along with, and I'm going to maintain one collar. You guys don't have to. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this, uh, the reason for it, because I use it uh, to hold uh, my sponge and also to hold my uh, scotch bright. But this will take and go on here. Like so. A little bit more stainless steel wool. Like so, stainless steel wool is then pushed inside, screwed down for the pretty much completed secondary bubbler. You'll also note that I now have my gas outlet, or gas inlet rather, in the bottom. Okay, I've done this uh, to aid in actually routing the uh, the hose. Uh, what I find and one of the drawbacks to, to this particular design is now because of being a solid top piece and not actually screwing down it becomes difficult to thread the hose from the bottom all the way up through one of the uh, holes here and I'll show you that in a bit but let me just go ahead and show you the next step would be would screw that in This whole entire piece then, and again, this is all being dry fitted. There's still some uh, gluing that needs to be done. This would then set inside. Oops, sorry again. <laughs> Before I do that, again, the reason for the collar is to take and support these units. Okay. Again, the functionality has not changed. Only the design and the only, con only the construction has changed. This then goes inside, and then of course on for the bottom, a trap, it sets in like so, and then I'm using a flat access, a trap fan, a trap, uh, trap lid, and that would screw in the bottom, like so. Okay, so there is a new easy bubbler. Uh, of course, these uh, fittings uh, will be, need to be uh, put into place. Uh, I'll do another video showing the uh, completed unit, but this, uh, this construction uh, still maintains all of the functionality, but allows you to, to buy and use uh, parts off of uh, right off the shelf and uh, no special uh, constructions. Okay, thank you. Thank you.